Hi, welcome to day 19 of Write a Poetry Pamphlet in 30 Days with me, Maria Franklin. Um, I've noticed that um, there's been lots more views on the other videos that I offer here on my YouTube channel. Um, my blog is recorded as a video each month, which is called Writerly Witterings. You can probably guess why I call it that. Um, and I also offer another blog called Writing to Help Yourself, um, which uh, talks about the power of using writing as therapy and a different topic is concentrated on each month. I also have a, a regular video that I release each month called Readily Ramblings which I record for the readers of my um, poetry uh, collections and my domestic thriller novels. Okay so thank you if you are one of the uh, the watchers who has been having a look at those as well and then as I've mentioned before there are other short uh, mini writing courses is available here on my YouTube channel. There's Write a Novella in 30 Days um, and there's also uh, a couple of shorter courses. Um, I've just offered the 12 Days of Summer um, Writing which have 12 Days of Summary Writing Prompts and there's more to come. There's going to be um, an autumn one uh, and a life story one coming up before the end of the year as well. So if you're not already on it do join my Keep in Touch list um, which you can join. There's a link for it actually here on the YouTube page or you can visit my website mariafranklin.co.uk and join my Keep in Touch list so I can keep you posted of everything that's coming up. Right, so today, uh, day 19, we're going to do something called inverted poetry, um, which is something I once tried when I attended a writing workshop myself some years ago, and it's a technique I uh, frequently find myself returning to. Um, it can really offer a reader something different and unique. Basically, it's a poem that goes in reverse and tells a story backwards. Uh, so, as always, it can be um, good to have that word bank, um, which I always advocate as a part of the process of writing a poem. So having some words, some phrases, some images, some ideas of what might go in your poem. Um, and then it can be also advantageous to write your poem forwards before switching it around and, and writing it backwards. Uh, so you probably wonder what on earth I'm talking about at the moment. So I'm going to give you uh, an example of an inverted um, poem. So uh, it's called Her Undoing and it begins at the point of a woman's date not arriving and then works backwards to the moment of being asked out. Now this is an example of something I wrote from art actually so there's the two techniques in here. I actually worked from a picture uh, here. Um, so anyway without further ado I will read it. Her Undoing. Soaking up tears unordering the wine. A bag swinging from her arm, she would never have arrived. Butterflies calm, heart rate slowed, the black dress on the hanger and bracelet adorning its box. No blusher dusted, lipstick unapplied, no perfume ever spread. Lashes uncurled, hair hanging loose around her shoulders. Hope not being allowed to shower as her outfit planned. That would not be worn, not this night. She would unanswer the call, forget his smile and never have heard his voice. A bit of a sad poem that, isn't it? Okay, so you might have an idea of a poem that's yet to be written to go in your pamphlet. So what I'd like you to do is choose something that tells a story, okay, and jot down some notes about how they would progress, how this story would progress in a natural sequential order. So just notes at this stage. So choose, you know, a moment in time, a, an event, um, something that you can tell a story through, so something with a bit of a beginning and middle and an end, um, just like the example I've just uh, read to you. Um, so it could be a theme uh, such as an aspect of time or maybe the ageing process, that's a really good uh, topic to tackle, I think, using this method. 
Um, so just an event that can be narrated. So using her undoing as a bit of a model, I want you to write your own poem as an inversion of events. So like I say, it might be helpful to write forwards first and then turn it around and, and write it backwards. And using some time connectives uh, through doing this like next, before, finally, then, first. Some time connectives can sort of um, hang, help your poem to hang together and um, you can even remove them at the time of editing and um, so this is a challenging poem I think to write but, but give it a go um, because you will I promise you'll be really proud with the the resulting poem that you come up with so enjoy having a go at that one and I will see you tomorrow for day 20 bye for now